Hello friends I am professor Prashant Patil Today we are going to see the topic of variation of parameter So in previous session we studied linear differential equation with constant coefficient In this topic uh, in previous session we studied how to find out particular integral by using shortcut method Now today in this session we will discuss how to find out again particular integral by using variation of parameter method so it is very different method which compare with first method in this method there are some standard equation so by using that standard equation we can find out particular integral so our aim is to find out this particular integral so this is method 2 method 1 is shortcut method and method 2 is variation of parameter so according to variation of parameter we have to find out particular integral that is yp an equation of particular integral is uy1 plus vy2 so we have to find out this u and v first of all according to differential equation we can find out yc that is complementary function which is c1 into f1x plus c2 into f2x So we have to consider this function of x as a y1 and this function of x as a y2. So when we get the value of y1 and y2 from complementary function, then we have to find out first of all w. So w is nothing but a determinant of y1, y2, y1 dash and y2 dash. Y1 and y2 which can be find out by from this complementary function. y1 dash and y2 dash are the derivative of y1 and y2 second we have equation to find out u here we require to find out u and v now so their equation of u is minus of integration of y2 into f of x upon w dx third equation is v so v is nothing but the integration of y1 into f of x upon w dx so when we get the value of u and v then we can put the value of u and v here so this is the equation of yp and this is the equation of yc hence finally we can say solution of differential equation y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral so we have to take one example on the basis of variation of parameter so we can understand this method very well equation is given solve d square y by dx square plus y is equal to cos x by variation of parameter so we have to solve this equation by variation of parameter first of all we have to find out complementary function so our basic aim is to find out solution of this equation that is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral so this is standard equation which consists as a a now we have to find out complementary function to find out complementary function function we have three rules we already discussed in previous session so equation which is given which can be written as a d square y plus y is equal to cosec x so it will be d square plus 1 into y is equal to cosec x now if we find out roots of this equation so consider a e is equal to d square plus 1 is equal to 0 so we get the root of this equation is d is equal to plus or minus 1 i that is there is no any real number we have to consider real number as a 0 when not given so this will be alpha and this will be beta so we have to apply third method third case for yc that is e raised to alpha that is 0x into bracket c1 cos of beta is 1x plus c2 sin beta is 1x simplify this equation e raised to 0 is 1 so it will be c1 cos x plus c2 sin x so here we get the value of complementary function which consider as a equation 1 now we have to find out particular integral by using variation of parameter so we need the value of y1 and y2 so compare this equation with this equation so this cos x is nothing but a function of x which we consider as a y1 
and this sin x which we have to consider as a y2 now we get the value of y1 is cos x and y2 is sin x now differentiate this equation so we get y1 dash is equal to minus of sin x and y2 dash is equal to cos x now we need to find out w first equation is w and w is determinant of y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash now put the value of y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash y1 is cos x y2 is sin x y1 dash is minus sin x y2 dash is cos x now simplify this multi, uh, determinants then we get cos square x plus sin square x and it is standard identity which is equal to 1 it means we get the value of w is 1 now next we need to find out u and v so we have standard equation of u and v so first of all we have to find out u so standard integration uh, standard e equation of u is minus of y2 into f of x upon w dx everything is given here f of x that we consider as a right side this rhs is nothing but a f of x now put the value of y2 here so this is minus of y2 is given here as a sin x into f of x is cosec x upon w is 1 dx now simplify this equation minus of sin x into cosec x is 1 upon sin x dx now sin sin get cancelled remaining is minus 1 dx and integration of 1 dx is x so you we get the value of u here now next we need to find out last value is v we have equation to find out v v is integration of y1 into f of x upon w dx so apply equation of v y1 into f of x upon w dx just put the value of y1 here it will be cos x into f of x is cosec x and the value of w is 1 dx now we have equation cos x into cosec x means 1 upon sin x dx here cos x upon sin x is cot x dx and standard integration of cot x standard equation is here of cot x integration of cot x is nothing but a log of sin x so this is the value of v now apply standard equation of particular integral so particular integral is now particular integral is u y1 plus v y2 we know everything so value of u is minus x into y1 is cos x plus value of v is log of sin x into y2 is sin x so this is the equation of yp finally solution of given differential equation is complementary function plus particular integral so put the value of complementary function here c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus yp is minus of x cos x plus log of sin x into sin x this is the required equation of solution of differential equation so by using variation of parameter we can find out particular integral like this Thank you. So guys, stay innovative, stay hungry, subscribe the channel, press the bell icon. I will get back to you very soon with new stuff. Till then, bye-bye.